Hey guys, welcome back for yet another video. Today I am working with Superb Wigs. They sent over this gorgeous package here and the wig is actually on my head. Can you find where the lace starts? I think this is absolutely gorgeous. As you guys see, they did give us a few little goodies and this is the wig in its natural state. Now you can kind of see a little bit of fluffy. I started to comb it out and realized maybe I should show you guys the natural texture before I go ahead and comb her out. This is the inside of the lace. You have four combs. You have a removable, adjustable straps. And as you guys can see, the knots are already bleached, so we are good to go. This is how I apply my wigs. I apply the elastic around my head first, and then I go ahead and flip it back and pull it as far front as I can. And then I go ahead and get to work. Here's a close-up of the hairline. They do give you Swiss lace, which is my favorite lace, and it's very undetectable. Again, the knots are bleached, so we pretty much are good to go. I didn't have to do any real customizations before. I'm going ahead and put this one on my, on my head. As you guys can see with the knots are bleached, it does come off a little bit orange. Um, that just happens a lot of the times. And what I do typically is I will soak the lace in a little bit of purple shampoo. It will tone it and fix it right away. So if you are someone who wants to fix that, just go ahead and pretty much make like a, you can make like a, a bath with like the purple shampoo. Um, soak your lace in there for about 20 minutes and it'll be back to normal. Here I am removing the excess lace because I did not need to tweeze anything from the hairline. And this is what the lace looks like. It literally blends with my skin by far. Some of the best lace I've ever experienced. It literally blends like butter, baby. <laughs> So again, I am using a razor to go ahead and cut off the excess lace. I do find that this is the best the best method, although a lot of times I will use scissors. Scissors is just quicker and easier and a little bit um, less fail proof, I guess you'd say. But the razor, it kind of makes it so that you don't have like a straight line going across and it makes it easier for people to clock you and find where your lace is going. So I did go ahead and switch back to regular scissors. I needed to go ahead and customize the lace around the sideburn and the ear area and I find this makes it a little bit more precise. A lot of times your lace will not fit ear to ear perfectly. You'll have a little bit of extra unless you have a big head and you want to just go ahead and make it cuff. Be careful not to cut off that elastic band as you guys can see peeking right there and just go ahead and make it fit as flush as possible. You guys can see a little bit of excess lace around the ear. You kind of just cut it off and just make it look good. So now we're going to bond down the wig. You guys are no beginners to this. You guys know we do this every time using the got to be glue. You can use whatever you choose. I do find that wig glue is a lot more messy in my opinion for day to day maintenance. Although it just looks so much better. So, you know, make a choice and choose what suits your needs. And as you guys can see, I did burn my forehead not once but twice. Literally the week I was giving birth like who, who has this bad of luck? Like who? Like who? How did I burn my forehead not once but twice? Anyways, it's healing up and we are doing better. I'm just using a rat tail comb to go ahead and make sure everything is melted properly. Anywhere that I feel like the glue or needs a little bit more glue, I'm just going to spot touch up and go ahead and make it melt amazingly. Normally I would add a scarf at this point and that would do the job for me. So if you want to go ahead and add a scarf and let it lay down for a few minutes, that would be amazing. Next up is baby hair. I went ahead and just did my typical two little swoops, one on each side above the arch of my eyebrow. I find this to look the best and most natural and not too much, you know, overkill, if you will. Also, Superb Wig did give me a coupon code for you guys. It's ASL and you'll be able to enter that at checkout for money off.
we are almost done with this install as you guys can see a lot of the times if you're a beginner it seems like a lot to install a wig but it's honestly super easy it's all about practice and getting it you know finding your way finding your products that work for you finding your techniques and all of that but you guys can see the more I make baby hair the more you can see how plugged it already was I did not have to tweeze anything and it was very perfect without being over plugged also the actual lace blends in amazing without any powder or any you know product because that swiss lace does the trick so i'm gonna go ahead and make a parting the parting also is amazing if you feel like it's a little bit too orange again go ahead and add a little bit of powder which is what you'll see i'll do in just a moment So I'm just going ahead and finessing the rest of the hair as always. I'm going to go ahead and kind of figure comb it and see, you know, how I want it. I opted for a center part and I kind of was messing with the curls so just to see what was going on. I'm going to use a combination of water. There is a little bit of a Aussie Moist conditioner in here. And then I'm also going to use a little bit of mousse to go ahead and activate those curls. And that's pretty much it for this one. Again, we're going to add a little bit of powder in just a moment. So again, this one is a loose wave texture. Um, it's 150% density and I did send over, I believe this is a medium cap, 22.5 inches. And look how amazing, amazing this hair came out. And that's just with the water and my conditioner. You guys can see the texture is so soft. You don't need to feel it, you can just look at it and tell. But I'm gonna go ahead and add a lot of mousse and this is just gonna go ahead and pretty much activate those curls and make sure that they set properly. You guys see how the hair is in the beginning of the video. If you go ahead and wet your hair and then you don't add any product a lot of times it'll revert back to its natural state so I kind of wanted to make sure that once it dries it dries with a little bit of a sheen um, and you know a little bit of a frizz control I believe I opted for 20 inches but the exact details of course are in the description box as always let me know what you guys think of this hair this one is absolutely gorgeous if you want to check her out again check the description bar for the link also don't forget to use my code AS L for money off also I have a list of all the products I use to achieve this look down below as well thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video with your friends wait a minute look at that hairline you can't even really tell me where it starts and finish this one is amazing so go ahead and check it out thank you guys so much for watching I got sidetracked but don't forget to like subscribe share this video with your friends and as always I'll see you in the next one smooches oh and i almost forgot i added this little clip at the end this is later in the night after i've already removed my makeup i went ahead and just added a scarf around the hairline to protect my edges and i also went ahead and twisted it into four little plaits just to go ahead and protect it at night and then i wrapped it up and put it all in a bonnet and when i woke up the next day i didn't have to do anything but just add just a little bit of water and we were good to go